Saji Media Workers get to look at environmental issues from the other side of the camera. Welcome to Da'ai Headlines, I'm Anthony Carlyle. Thank you for joining us. Today is Earth Day, an event intended to inspire awareness of and appreciation for the environment. Celebrating the yearly event, Saji volunteers called on more than 500 stores in one of the busiest areas of Taipei to join an energy conservation campaign. Neon signs, billboards and 24-hour crowds. These are the usual sights of Izon, the Times Square of Taipei. But at 8 o'clock on Sunday, something unexpected happened. It is not a blackout, but a carbon footprint reduction campaign supported by the shops on the street. Switching off the signs for 10 minutes, they instantly cut the carbon dioxide emissions by 330 kilograms. Totaling more than 500 stores, these conservation pioneers only recently learned that a small act could have such a tremendous impact on the earth. What we've done also has an effect on our customers. Some of them will start thinking about what they can do to help save energy after going home. I think this is a very special event and it's also helping to protect the earth. This campaign was spread by word of mouth from Zhongxiao East Road to Sida Road. The tireless effort of over 600 city volunteers who spent two weeks promoting the campaign door to door. They all say that we city volunteers not only lead by example and in action, we also go out to educate and promote the idea of environmentalism. That is why they recognize what we do. Out of every area in Taipei, city volunteers have chosen the most bustling district for a head start. The success of the campaign is much more than just the 10 minutes of darkness. It is also that the concept of energy conservation is taking root in the public's heart. Last weekend, Siji volunteers were out in force to mark Earth Day. Some picked up trash on mountain paths while others swept the city streets. Our colleagues here in the Siji Humanities Center went out to collect and recycle garbage in Taipei. Normally looking at environmental issues down the lens of a camera, the media workers got a taste of what it's like for regular environmental volunteers. Bending their backs to pick up trash thrown into the bushes, these volunteers are being led by the executive director of Tsuji's Humanities Center, Wang Duanzhen. The main aim of the movement is to reduce carbon. The senior manager and other staff from Tsuji's media outlets are not afraid of getting their hands dirty. Giving up their day off on Sunday, employees are cleaning up the streets around their office in Taipei. The most common thing is cigarette butts. Master Zhen Yan tells us to take care of the greater universe, but we should also take care of the small universe of our bodies. Smoking is very bad for your health, so I hope that people won't smoke and won't throw their cigarette butts on the ground. Used to reporting on environmental issues on television, the media workers are getting an idea of what it's like for regular volunteers. Usually we are in the office covering environment news, but today we are actually outside picking up cigarette butts and garbage on the ground. It makes us feel environmental volunteers work very hard. Normally working hard to clean up the airwaves, today Tsuji's media workers are helping clean up the environment and reduce their carbon footprint. Finally today, people around the world are celebrating Earth Day. In the Philippines, one community is using discarded billboards and turning them into fashion accessories. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for watching Dai Headlines. Goodbye.